Bumper to bumper, we love them old cars. Be it Ford or GM or be it a Mopar. People, power, and passion, you know that is our deal. So tune in to our TV show with Rusty at the wheel. With Rusty at the wheel. Today, dealers, and welcome to Bumper to Bumper. I'm Rusty, and today I've been privileged enough to meet with Dennis. G'day, Dennis, how are you going? Good to meet you, Rusty. How many cars do you have in your collection? I have nine. Nine? Moment. Yeah. Right, um, just a couple? Okay. Keep you honest? <laughs> yeah, I'm too, well, one would keep you honest, but uh, having nine, I, I've, just, uh, I've just collected things over the years. I, I've just got onto a guy to uh, do some um, bead blasting on the inside here so I can clean up in the engine bay. And once I get that done, I'll, uh, I'll start the respraying. So most of the bodywork's been done. It's all been cleaned up, it's all the new parts been welded into it. Yep. And uh, so it's, it's had new, new bits welded into the sills and on the back yards where they tend to rust and so forth. Mm -hmm. So uh, but this, is, this is a mean looking car, mate. Uh, <laughs> got the full body kit on it, it looks like. Yeah, well, it's actually got a, a Holden front on it. Uh, Holden? Yeah, it's off, it's off a, I don't know, whatever. He moulded that into the front, he's changed the guards. He's, the, the guy I bought with made a lightweight bonnet. So, cannot do that with any other part on these cars. They are as heavy as heavy. Um, it's got some pretty big wheels on it. Big? Um, oh, mate, I'm, I'm going to get a picture of the rear. They are huge. <laughs> how, how wide are they? 14 inch? Yeah, thereabouts. 14 inch Mickey Thompsons, maybe. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what sort they are, actually. Yeah. But they were with it when I got it. Mm -hmm. But it was, uh, I thought it was a $4,000 special. Jeez. Um, oh, I thought it was a bit of a bargain. Yeah. You know? Especially when it's got a, an enormous big v donk. <laughs> donk in there, V12. Uh, well, you add, love the V12s, you've already told me. Yeah, yeah, well, this one goes, and uh, it's, it's, a, it's a bit of a go. They, they, they had a few problems, but uh, which I've got to sort. So, your plans once it's finished? Oh, I'll give it a run. I'll go into some sprint meetings and see how it goes. So, this will be purely a uh, like a sprint type car race to, to, to race? Yeah, something to, um, yeah something to have a bit of a go in. I'd, I'd love to see how, how well to go. Is there a time frame for this car to get back up on the road? <laughs> <laughs> Every time I ask you that, you'll start laughing. Well, I'm now 63, about to turn 64, so I've got probably about 20 years to go, I reckon. Oh, okay. So I've got to do it within the next 20. Oh, that's not too bad then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, it's a 1967 MGB with a 17-800 um, uh, motor in it, basically. Yep. Um, it's, it's pretty standard, box standard MGB. Um, it's got all the, the typical things that went wrong with these things. They're all the same. They used to rust really well, as well, as, as you can see. This one's had a ding on the other side, which I've got to sort out. That's what this panel here is. Top panel of the rear guard here. Oh, yeah. So that's going to be put in the other side and uh, welded in. So we'll have a go at that at some stage. Same thing. <laughs> 20 years to go. We'll just keep working on it. So you don't have a project plan for any of these cars, or what ones oh, are you going to start not first? Ones, no. no, I do have for the, the Sprite and the Spitfire. All right. But these blokes are just sort of sitting in the wings, All waiting. Right. And patience is a virtue. Well, it certainly is. Yeah. At least they're not out in the open, rusting away. This is an MG Midget, uh, 1970 model. Um, I bought it for $100, you know, 30 years ago. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But it didn't have, it didn't look anything like this. It was um, a very bent car. It was a write-off. The whole front had been written right off. But, uh, I had to cut it all off and, um, and, and re basically re rebuild the whole front end. I space framed it to a certain degree. It's got a Mazda rotary motor in it oh, right. um, with a, 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 a rotary uh, gearbox. Um, it's got a, a Ford Angular, which we got from a tip. A mate and I went down to a tip and uh, dragged it up out of an old car, uh, 105E rear end, which was just happened to be the right size. And I put um, Mazda coilover shocks on it and a four-link suspension, which uh, we, I welded some, some parts onto the rear axle. And actually, I've actually made the roll bar the whole lot. So mm. uh, the whole thing's been made up, made the dash, and. Yeah, for all the bits and pieces. Hard to do the dash? Uh, no, really. Just working out the... the uh... Well, as you, as you can see, I've made it left-hand drive. You're not going to ask me the question, why have you made it left-hand drive? Well, actually, <laughs> my, my first thought was it must have been originally left-hand drive car. No, it's not. It was actually, actually a right-hand drive car. Okay, I yeah. did that because the exhaust system goes right under the driver's seat there on the right-hand side and it gets, they get really, really hot. And uh, 
I thought, ah, yeah. make it a little bit, it's, let's make it a bit different. Mm. I used a, um, a mini rack, because the mini rack originally was up on the firewall. And um, if you look at the way the, the thing turns, it, they turn it back to front. So when you turn it upside down, put it down the front here, uh, it works like a, a normal rack. So uh, yeah, you get your left hand drive. So. Hi, I'm Dennis and you've been watching Bumper to Bumper.